Good afternoon, everyone. It is a great honor for me to be able to deliver a speech in front of you today. In Japan, the number one cause of death is a cancer. One of two Japanese suffer from cancer. So, how can we fight? How can we fight? Or how can I save people who suffer from cancer? I think it is a ninja. That's Japanese ninja game. The cell membrane is a big wall. This takes a lot to prevent attacking from the outside. I call cancer cell membrane, cancer castle wall. Recently, biopharmaceuticals such as gene, protein, and antibody have been developed as a new cancer control agent. However, there is a big problem. They cannot penetrate cell membrane because they are large and high hydrophilicity. And you imagine the cell membrane and slam the door on anti-cancer drugs. We are fighting to research and develop the cell membrane penetrating peptide. It is ninja. Uh, so here is our strategy. The ninja, uh, the ninja, uh, so we penetrate cell membrane. The ninja invades the cancer castle wall and into the insi inside the cell. This ninja, uh, this ninja can deliver biopharmaceuticals inside the cell for their, bio for their biological actions. So, uh, uh, I show what the ninja is. The name is RLA peptide. This is twisting, and this has some arginines, which is the most cationic amino acid. Okay, uh, these structure features are very important point for prompting membrane permeability. Okay, let's experiment. This is a this is a confocal microscopic observation, and I I next. Uh, next, I modified green fluorescent tag to the peptide and uh, observed, observed cellular uptake. Then, surprisingly, the peptide efficiently penetrates penetrate the big wall, big wall, and uh, big wall. Okay, uh, to do, oh, so, okay, only five minutes. To do this job well, the ninja will be an application for intracellular chemotherapy as a next generation carrier.